the adult, the bitus parviacula, were moved in uh, together today because it is uh, breeding season and I'm hoping the two of them uh, get together and make uh, more babies. Now in this corner we have the male and his plant from his cage and his hut, his log hut and in this corner we have the female and her log and foliage and tree and her hut and a communal water dish in the center so hopefully these two uh, guys will uh, will hook up and we'll see what happens and that's if they don't kill each other the male is uh, rather pissy the female was put in the cage by herself about mm, two hours ago and then allowed to settle down a little bit and the male was just introduced after he had a bit of an excursion. So we'll see uh, how things play out here. Female uh, got rather testy. Uh, I don't believe it was caused by anything that the male did. I think it has to do with me uh, doing what I'm doing out here in the room and that's cleaning her old cage and preparing it for Miss Tiki. Miss Tiki didn't need the uh, uh, bridal suite there. Uh, so I am going to clean out or in the process of cleaning out her old uh, uh, Mrs. Uh, Parviaculus here, her old uh, apartment, and uh, gonna put Tiki in it a little bit later today. Mr. Studley is uh, moving ever so slowly, uh, testing all of the way, uh, just to make sure that he doesn't piss the misses off. That's the, uh, the whole trick of being a male snake is being able to get close without getting bit and then uh, getting the job done also without being bitten and killed. Now, since I'm zoomed in you can't see but the female uh, tongue flick you know, and she is not necessarily in the most relaxed position. Uh, matter of fact, that's her warning posture. Very different from a puff adder. Uh, kabooms uh, have their own different warning postures as well as uh, rhinos. Now she is usually a chow hound, but she's refused the past two weeks. And he's not as eating as much as he was. Um, and I know for a fact their breeding season uh, starts in August, goes through September. And that's how come we get uh, uh, babies in March and April which is kicking off to their spring which makes perfect sense because they live uh, at altitudes up to 2,000 meters which is about 6,000 feet or so uh, 7,000 feet something like that <clears throat> it's tough to see from that vantage point but the male is uh, gently uh, tickling her back with his tongue. I 
notice that her neck is flattened out a little bit on the bottom. She's not uh, respiring heavy. When I saw that she was getting all wound up again, I ceased what I was doing. Because I don't want her all wound up and, uh, and biting the male. And plus the stress on her, and that's not a good thing to have. So I'm going to pause this here until something happens. The male is on the move. Female looks not so pleased about it. Wow, oh, holy cow. Could this be normal breeding behavior the first time that uh, we're actually uh, seeing this on film? I have no idea. No idea whatsoever. I raised the tripod up a little bit so we could get a bit more of an angle. Well, so far so good. At least they're not chewing on one another. Can't wait till I see the videotape and watch them do that serpentine uh, moving around and you know, whatever the hell they did. That was pretty interesting looking. One thing for certain, the female doesn't look as evil and hyper as she was. Which is a good thing, because I, I don't like to see my animals stressed out. Especially uh, rare and expensive ones. See if I can get the vacuum and stuff out of there. Hopefully, I won't disturb them too much in this process. I'll do it as quietly as I can. Well, the female went uh, taking off uh, around the cage with the male in hot pursuit. And the male's head is to the left, sort of wrapped in one of her coils. Uh, he hasn't moved since, and, and she's been up against the glass there, uh, not doing anything either. Uh, but in the encounters that I saw, um, didn't look like there was uh, any uh, biting involved. Uh, 
but I think the male definitely has the right idea. Oh, where'd you go? Where'd she go? Maybe it wasn't a good idea to put the water in there. She couldn't have gone far. He's over on her hut, which is just loaded with her scent. this way so you can see what he's up to and here he comes down the front of the cage right towards her I'm trying not to move because this whole thing seems to be keyed on movement and not necessarily scent, well, I'm sure that pheromones are driving the olfactory bulb in their little brain. Um, but I think uh, sight plays the largest uh, uh, role in this uh, whole thing. The uh, pheromones that the female's giving off if she is indeed in season is just driving the whole operation. Pause again until something interesting happens. Okay, the male uh, is coming back in the right direction, so I restarted the tape. You know, just just having them copulate and hook up doesn't necessarily mean that uh, uh, something's going to happen. You know, if she has. eggs ready to become embryos you know and he's not shooting blanks uh, you know we're in business and she's proven I would imagine at his age and size that he is too and I may actually even have a picture of the two of them hooked up from last year while they're in captivity uh, over in Ethiopia. At least I think it's these two. Um, you know, you really have to sort of be very, very sure that you can find a, a trait on each to match the photograph.